Now that you've clicked on Get System Presets, you will see a digital layout of the rows. Let's focus on the central control display. Under the info bar, you will notice boxes for each of the five presets in each of the five banks, as well as an auto update icon, get preset from device icon, and save preset to device icon. Notice that the icons are identified as I scroll over them. These icons will be discussed in more depth in a later video. Preset 1 from Bank 1 is currently loaded. This is distinguished by both Preset 1 and Bank 1 being illuminated in purple. This preset is an identical representation of the factory preset currently saved in slot 1 on the preset LED ladder of the rows. All of the parameters of the preset are represented digitally. You can select any of the desired presets or banks with ease simply by clicking on them. Let's go through a few now. Notice that as I click, each of the parameters change to reflect the saved presets and banks. Now let's reload preset 1 and bank 1. If you move down and look under the preset bar, you can see several boxes offering control over certain parameters. Moving from left to right, we have hot switch mode, tap type, tap division, and tap rate, BPM. Notice that AB select is displayed under hot switch mode. This is what is saved under Factory Preset 1 of Bank 1. If you click the drop down icon under Hot Switch Mode, you can see that all of the Hot Switch Modes are available and easily assignable with a click. Any mode that you select will be displayed in the dialog box. Moving right, you have the ability to select Tap Type from either Delay or LFO. Delay is currently saved to Factory Preset 1 from Bank 1. Next, you have the Tap Division box. If you click the drop down icon under Tap Division, you will see that all of the Tap Divisions are available and easily assignable with a click. We can select Quarter, Eighth, Dotted Eighth, or Triplet. Quarter is currently saved to Factory Preset 1 from Bank 1. To the right of Tap Division is Tap Rate BPM. This box allows you to type in whatever BPM you desire. Notice that the box currently reads inactive. This is because there is no tap tempo value currently set for Factory Preset 1 Bank 1. If I select Factory Preset 1 Bank 2, you can see that a tap rate has been saved for the preset. Let's go back to Factory Preset 1 Bank 1 for demonstration purposes. You can click within the tap rate BPM box and type in your own tempo. Type in 220 BPM. If you simply press enter or click outside the box once you're done typing, you're all set. You can also choose your BPM by clicking a desired tempo in the tap box. Keep in mind that the course delay slider and find delay knob overrides any tap tempo value that was entered. As soon as you move the slider or turn the knob, the tempo will read inactive as the delay value is now determined by the course delay slider and or find delay knob position.